on with level two lockdown. It's pretty new with all the different traffic now on the roads again and navigating supermarkets, the warehouse stationery, all those sorts of things. Lots of new changes yet again. Well, Sophie and I have been really enjoying watching Nadia Lim's cooking show in the lockdown time with her kids in the kitchen helping her out. It's been really great. And one of the things I've loved about Nadia Lim's uh, time in the kitchen is being able to swap out things that she doesn't have. So if she doesn't have, say, broccoli for her recipe, she'll swap it out for peas or beans or even Brussels sprouts, if you're into Brussels sprouts. <laughs> um, or if she hasn't got, say, kumra, try potato. I just love that whole concept. Also during the lockdown, it's been easy to be fearful, isn't it? To navigate all these new different things, working out where the crosses are on the floor so that you line up and have that two metre distance. Or we might be worried about our jobs. Um, what, what's it going to be like at school when we start again? Um, what's it like with all these different new uh, processes? What about us even catching the virus? Being fearful about that, fearful about touching things and touching people. Pretty, pretty scary. But I just really want to encourage us today that God has got it sorted. God is an incredible God who has amazing promises in his word. And I just want us to learn to, and remind ourselves about his promises and to swap out the thoughts that aren't helpful. So let's have a look at this first bag. What have we got? I have to deal with my own issues. Sometimes that's thoughts that we have, isn't it? I've got to deal with everything myself. I've got to deal with all this, these new processes, new procedures by myself. Actually, I'm going to swap this bag out. I'm going to get rid of this bag and I'm going to put it into the rubbish tin because that's not helpful. But you know what is helpful? Is the promise in God's word in 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7 that says, Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Wow, that is so reassuring and freeing. What an awesome promise. I'm swapping that other old bag out and I'm putting in this one, God's promise, and keeping it. What have we got next? I haven't got friends. No one loves me. That's not a helpful comment, is it? That's not a helpful thought. So you know what? I'm going to swap that bag out. I'm going to put it into the rubbish tin. And I'm going to swap it for God's promise. And what does he say in Psalm chapter 9 verse 10? Those who know you, Lord, will trust you. You do not abandon anyone who comes to you. Isn't that fantastic? God is always our friend. He's always there. He never abandons us. What's another thought that we might have sometimes? I'm so terrible, I've mucked up. I'm so terrible, I've mucked up. That's not a helpful thought, is it? I'm going to get that bag, I'm going to swap that out, put it into the rubbish tin, and I'm going to replace it for one of God's promises. What does God say in 1 John 1 verse 9a? But if we confess our sins to him, all that wrong stuff, he can be depended on to forgive us and to cleanse us from every wrong. Wow, how freeing is that? God can forgive us no matter what. It's so awesome. Another thought we might have is God doesn't know me. He doesn't know what I do. He doesn't really care. He's not really interested. I'm going to swap that bag out because that's not helpful. Because in the Bible, God promises that he does actually know us so amazingly. Psalm 139 verse 1 to 4 says, Lord, you have examined me and you know me. You know everything I do from far away. You understand all my thoughts. You see me whether I am working or resting. You know all my actions even before I speak. You already know what I will say. Psalm 139 verse 1 to 4. Wow, we're going to keep that promise. That's so fantastic. Another one that we might think about is I can't do that. I'm not confident enough. We're going to definitely get rid of that. We're going to swap that bag out. And we're going to remember that God's promise, Joshua 1 verse 9. This is a really cool verse for our kids to learn. Remember that I have commanded you to be determined and confident. Do not be afraid or discouraged, for I, the Lord your God, am with you wherever you go. What great promises. You imagine thinking about that promise on your way to school. God absolutely loves us and he wants the best for us. He doesn't want us to be afraid or discouraged. He's with us. 
He is with us wherever we go. We're going to keep that there. Then our last one, pop that out over to the side. It says, I'm all unsettled with changes every week. Yeah, we can be, can't we? Totally unsettled with school, with friends. But you know what? I'm swapping that bag out. I'm putting the rubbish tin. That rubbish tin's pretty full. And we are going to remember God's fantastic promises. I've got a couple here for you just to finish. I am leaving you with the gift, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give you is the gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled or afraid, John 14, 27. And lastly, those who love your instructions have great peace. And do not stumble. Psalm 119, verse 165. I want us to be swap out detectives. If you find someone that's saying something that's not very helpful, not very positive, swap it out and find a verse for them. Find a promise. There's so many in the Bible. And encourage them with it. And say, hey, that's not right. I don't agree with that. You know what? God says something different. In the Bible, he's got a promise. And give it to them. That would be so awesome. And I just want to finish with Hebrews chapter 10, verse 35. And it says, let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess. For he who promised is faithful. God is absolutely faithful. God's promises are true. They're reliable. Let's read them, learn them, and really put them into action, living life doing them.